On Thursday, the 16th of August 2012, the Archbishop of York, Dr. John Sentamu of the Church of England, visited Water Aid in Uganda supported projects in Kalewe Slum. This slum is located four kilometers north of Kampala. It is characterized by overcrowded, unplanned, shanty housing structures, poor sanitation, limited access to safe drinking water, flooding, and poor garbage management. While in Kalewe, the Archbishop received a jubilant welcome from members of the community and their leaders, who saw in him hope for a better life. They shared with him the day-to-day -day challenges they go through to access safe water and sanitation services. They also talked about how Water Aid is supporting improvements in water, sanitation and hygiene services through working with local partners of Community Integrated Development Initiative, CD, and the African Evangelical Enterprise, AEE. Water Aid support has led to construction of a number of community safe water points, toilet facilities, rainwater harvesting tanks and drainage channels which all have greatly helped in reducing the water and sanitation related diseases in the area. Water Aid has further equipped community members with skills to voice their concerns, demanding accountability and better services from their local leaders and government. The challenges are glaring and have been clear as articulated by the most able community members and leadership and partners. Uh, but as it is, I think um, if I could just use the research we've just concluded on land rights and the implications to access to water and sanitation, it has revealed that it, there is a challenge to access water and sanitation, especially in the urban, due to challenges around land rights. And this is even worsened by poor urban planning. And we know that these are informal settlements. And as they tell you, by the day, every night, the population increases. And we see Uganda having a threatening picture, not only in terms of one of the highest population growth rates, but also in terms of the highest urbanization, equivalent to highest slumization, and therefore worsening the problem and the challenge of access to water and sanitation. I haven't got an idea really, because <laughs> I think it's God tough. Is. It's absolutely yeah. tough. The challenge is very tough. Yeah. And um, how they're coping with it, uh, the problems are so many. I mean, 350 people to use just two latrines is just too, too difficult to imagine because of health and cleanliness tank run out of water because the rain didn't come. When it comes, then to be used. People going to that rather you know, unclean water, and many people have their jerry cans coming out there, that's pretty difficult. Um, so some mega, mega thing has got to be done if health is to improve. Well, I'm glad that the AE is involved because they, they represent both the gospel, telling people about the love of God, but also that love of God has got a practical implications. And I think people need to come and see, because if you don't see it, you never know. You know, you, you can pass here, buy your food and go away, but actually, when you enter the community, you realize how desperate it is. Um, I mean, it would be very good uh, if you invite the president himself to come and see, yeah. and tell him, you try and drink that water, Mr. President, you'll be sick tomorrow. <laughs> as our ambassador, we know that, for example, Water Aid, most of our work is supported by individuals, people of goodwill, and thanks to the people in, in the UK who, who really contribute quite a lot in the water companies and individuals. Uh, as our ambassador, it would be um, really good, um, even for the congregations that you lead, and, and the, the people that are concerned about mankind are those that know God. And no wonder there is a saying that um, godliness is, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. So sanitation is dignity, both from the worldly angle and even from God's perspective. 